I'm Masayuki Igawa from NEC Solution Innovators. Uh, thank you for coming to this session. Uh, this session is Tempest Scenario Test. Uh, let's get started. Here is the agenda. Uh, first of all, uh, I'm direct to introduce myself. Uh, I'm an OpenStack Active Technical Contributor since the Grizzly release. And uh, also, uh, I'm a member of Tempest Core. And the next is a overview of OpenStack. Uh, maybe uh, you know the uh, OpenStack. So uh, this is an overview of OpenStack. The OpenStack is the most popular OSS cloud infrastructure software in the world. And uh, it consists of several loosely coupled components and many features are uh, being evolved with six months release cycle. So it's a, a verifying multiple component is one of the greatest concerns from developers and the operators' viewpoint of. And the uh, operators' wish is uh, they want to verify the cloud works well easy in a short time. Uh, 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 because uh, to avoid any regression and uh, to compare the stability of different software versions. And uh, uh, in some uh, uh, many situations, but how, how to verify? Uh, we need a test suite for it. But uh, do you know Tempest? Uh, maybe you know the Matthew's session. <laughs> uh, but I'd like to talk about Tempest overview. Uh, Tempest is one of the projects of OpenStack projects. And it's a set of integration tests to be um, uh, against uh, live OpenStack cl cluster. And the Tempest runs in the Zulu at the every patch codes. So we need to have Tempest codes for integrate the project to ensure the validity. And the next is the purpose and the use case of Tempest. Uh, for developers, uh, new codes can be tested to check the, the expected behavior. And the second is to verify whether new code in introduce any regressions. And the third is uh, on each new patch, the Tempest runs in due to make sure it qualifies the, the expected, expected quality and the stability. Uh, these are uh, diagram of code review this, uh, diagram. Uh, and the red square is uh, uh, Tempest runs. And the second is uh, operator's viewpoint. Uh, checking their crowd works correctly. Uh, that is a test suite for production environments. And the second is to check and avoid regressions while software upgrades and, uh, and so on. And the third is uh, uh, can compare the stability of different software versions. And uh, another is uh, ref stack and def core. Uh, ref, ref stack uh, uses Tempest as a verifying tool set. Uh, what is that ref stack is uh, uh, you can check the URL. So uh, next, uh, I'd like to show you some key points of Tempest. Uh, the document says uh, uh, the gate job should install the project using the dev stack and then run Tempest tests. So uh, implementing of Tempest tests is one of the uh, minimal graduation requirements from the incubation project. And there are uh, 12 services in the Tempest now. Uh, these are those. Uh, yes. And uh, next is the growth of the Tempest code. 
uh, the code is uh, uh, growing the significantly. Uh, that is uh, 10 times more than the year below. Uh, the next is a Tempest source code directory. Tempest source code directory is uh, separated by its category. So the next is a uh, uh, oops, sorry. Oh, here. Yeah. Uh, channel test uh, system tests for verifying between multiple OpenStack components. Other category tests are not suitable to be implemented and complicated scenario between multiple components uh, because they are aimed to the validate a single component. So I'd like to talk about overview of uh, Tempest scenario tests. Uh, I'd like to give you some key points of scenario tests. Scenario tests are uh, throughput tests of OpenStack function. It's a complicated setup where one part might depend on com completion of the previous part. And uh, they ideally uh, involve the, the integration between the multiple comp uh, OpenStack services, multiple OpenStack components to exercise the touch point between them. So the key point is, uh, uh, sorry, across the match components and the sequential testing is a scenario test. And the next is uh, scenario test should be, uh, should use uh, the official Python client library. And the test should be tagged with uh, services they exercise. Uh, so for example, the, if the volume service is not available by Tempest config, uh, this test should be skipped, uh, will be skipped because of the volume is present. And uh, the goal of scenario test, uh, from operator's viewpoint, uh, operators uh, uh, can use the scenario test for validating the, their crowds with simple process with uh, such as uh, one command or one click. And uh, uh, of course, the validating the process should, uh, should be automatic and the production, uh, in the production environment. Uh, but though, uh, uh, anyway, the, this should be the uh, should be a simple process. Uh, from the developer's viewpoint, they can check whether new calls will cause any integration on the other components easily. Uh, for example, the grenade is using them. Now, so as a result, uh, we have been able to verify the OpenStack upgrade process in a short time. Uh, full test is uh, most, uh, most of uh, 50, uh, sorry, 45 mi minutes, but the green is, uh, is uh, 10 minutes. And uh, this is the overview. Here is the overview of the scenario test, test cases. There are 24 scenario tests now, uh, but uh, uh, there are some uh, missing services such as uh, telemetry and the database uh, that they are telemetry and uh, 12, like this. Uh, I talked about uh, overview of scenario tests, and the next is uh, how to use uh, scenario tests. Uh, I'll explain how to use the scenario test with uh, y using the uh, Git code, uh, source code. Uh, first is a clone the uh, source code. 
like this. And uh, next is a copy and customize a configuration file. That is a Tempest Conf uh, uh, Vim and uh, Emacs uh, like, and so on. And uh, next is a uh, run Tempest. Uh, that is two ways, uh, tester command with tester commands or uh, tempest, run Tempest script. And uh, uh, next is the fourth is uh, check the result. So uh, there are about uh, 300 config options. So the second thing is uh, very difficult to configuration, <laughs> modify the configuration for that. Uh, here is the, the result. Uh, uh, the above test case uh, is failed, unfortunately. So uh, in this case, uh, I need to investigate the cause of the program. And uh, another is, OK, is uh, this uh, test uh, finished normally in these seconds. And uh, another result, uh, this is a failure case. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, these are uh, details of the failure. So uh, you and me, we need to check that these uh, these log and the server log. OK, so the demonstration. Uh, today's demonstration on the DevStack code. And the uh, DevStack is the best tool for starting to use the Tempest. And uh, I'm going to execute uh, number seven. Number seven is uh, here, uh, here, this one. Okay. Uh, this one is a, a basic image uh, and the instance volume network and the CRUD test. So that the next is a check the result. So I I play the demo. Uh, these are my kids. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> and uh, this demo is uh, oh, oops. Yeah. Uh, this demo is uh, interesting, I interesting, but not fun, <laughs> because uh, only CLI and uh, uh, throw the log. <laughs> but I will do. OK. Let's start. Uh, this is a not a live demo, uh, only in an automatic demo. <laughs> Oh, oops, sorry, this is not here. Uh, this is a start, but uh, uh, running the test. This may take uh, only this call, uh, test code will take uh, two minutes. So I I move forward. Uh, so this is a, a Tempest log. So I need to move forward first. <laughs> 
Okay. It took the time, the two minutes. And uh, in this case, uh, uh, success succeeded. And uh, uh, after the test, uh, uh, cleaning up process is process proceeded. Yes, not so far. <laughs> Okay, the, that is a demo. Uh, okay, the next. Next is a uh, issue and the future of the scenario tests. Uh, issues, uh, we need more scenario tests. Uh, that is uh, more services such as uh, telemetry and the database. Neutron, Neutron yeah. <laughs> Of course, we need a neutron and uh, uh, maybe a horizon and Nova seen the all components uh, needed. And uh, more complicated but popular scenarios. Uh, I have no ideas uh, at this time, but uh, maybe more complicated scenario is required. And the next is that it's difficult to write scenarios because it needs uh, Python development skills. And uh, another difficult thing is uh, uh, to prepare setting for existing clouds. Uh, Tempest Conf has uh, 300 uh, options. And the uh, next is uh, Difficult to analyze the cause of failures. Uh, uh, elastic recheck is one of the solution for that, but uh, it's uh, only for developers, I think. So uh, we need uh, more easy to analyze way is needed, I think. The future thing, future thing, thing is uh, more easier. Uh, sorry, easier. Operators want to verify their CRUD without uh, command line skills, I think. So the Tempest GUI is uh, one of the solution, I think. And uh, more useful, uh, we can uh, specify the nodes and the zones by setting. We should specify the nodes and the zone setting. So uh, I propose uh, this dispatch and uh, under the reviewing. Yes, the summary. Uh, summary uh, is uh, OpenStack has uh, official test, uh, test suite that is Tempest. This is not only for developers, but also the operators, also operators of OpenStack Cloud. Uh, especially the scenario test, uh, test cases across uh, multiple components. It can be used for uh, system testing for OpenStack Cloud. By using the test, uh, scenario tests, uh, it's possible to reduce the, the evaluation costs of your cloud environment. So uh, in comparison with uh, making a test suite from scratch. So uh, uh, increasing the uh, test scenarios and uh, uh, more useful. Please join us to enhance scenario tests. Uh, that uh, these are uh, communication plus, but uh, OpenStack development mailing list. Uh, this is not for use educations and uh, IRC. Uh, okay. That's all for me, uh, from me. Uh, any questions? Yes? Uh, can you use the microphone? Uh, 
Hi, Hi. this is Nitin Mehra. Right. Uh, in, your, in your last slide, you mentioned that um, it, that um, you can also use it for system testing. Yeah. So I wanted, to, would it be possible for you to elaborate on what your definition of system testing is? Uh, leverage? Yeah, how would, you, how would you categorize system testing? What would you define as system? Oh, system. System is, uh, uh, we need uh, integration test, uh, such as uh, Nova and Keystone, uh, Grants, Cinder, but uh, uh, except the scenario test, uh, they are individual component test. They are API test is a, uh, only one component for testing. So scenario testing uh, will be in the scenario uh, system test for that, I think. The so are you talking more at a point of a component integration testing where various components talking to each other? Uh, API test is a component integration test. Only one component, uh, individual, individual component test, I think. But the scenario test is a throughput test. So the, uh, such as a, a boot instance and the attach volume and the, uh, delete instance and the reboot instance and the attach SSH and the, uh, we can do that for uh, with uh, scenario test. So the, that is a scenario, uh, system test, I think. Okay, thank yeah. you. Uh, Hi. Hi. Uh, quick question. Yeah. Um, so with the scenario test, it almost seems like you might have the same problem that exists with the negative tests a while back, where people yeah. came up with their own individual, oh, I think it's important if I do A, B, C, and somebody else says, no, I want to do A, C, D, where you have different, uh, you might have a bunch of different permutations. Is yeah. there a set of criteria you use right now to s decide uh, what becomes a scenario test or what is maybe something too specific or something that is too off the wall? Uh, that, that maybe depends on the scenario. Right. Uh, so, so, so I'm get, they, they, probably the answer is pull request accepted and take a look at it. <laughs> There's no answers to the uh, solution for that, I think. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Um, for myself and perhaps for many here, I'm interested in this from an operator's perspective. Yeah. You know, when we're setting up a Open stack installation. Yeah. We want to be able to verify that it's working the way you expect it to. Yeah. Um, this project looks like it originally came from the dev world, and now it's being applied more from an operator's perspective. Yeah. Uh, you touched earlier on a slide about configuring. Yeah. Open stack has a, can be configured in a lot of different ways. What yeah. kind of setup work needs yes. to go into yeah. using this tool? Uh, because how easy and how quick it is set up affects how useful it is from uh, for an operator. Uh, you mean the uh, component configuration? Uh, you you talked about uh, yeah, more scenario-based testing. You know, if I roll out an OpenStack installation, uh, I want to be able to verify that it works the way we expect to before we put it in production or start using it. How much work do I need to put into configuring Tempest for a given setup? Oh. Uh, uh, okay, uh, configuration is uh, not only scenario test, but also the uh, whole Tempest issue. So <laughs> I don't have the, the answer for that right now. So we need to resolve it uh, with other developers for, for the solution. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Uh, it's related to what, uh, what my friend said there earlier. Uh, uh, so a lot of the Tempest tests right now, the scenario tests, they have to be written in Python. Uh, is there anything in the roadmap that makes it uh, uh, easier for operators to write test cases uh, in a language that is not uh, not a programming language? Uh, so I don't have enough roadmap right now. Uh, but uh, uh, 
uh, one of the Tempest GUI is uh, 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 this uh, Junot Cycles uh, 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 Design Summit topic. I, I have the session for this uh, topic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, okay. <laughs> Anything else? Well, uh, quickly, yeah. but scenario tests may experience that they tend to be more flaky or more time consuming than <laughs> API tests, of course, because they go on more complex scenarios. So if we start adding more and more of these tests into the gate, yeah. this is an impact on something that is affecting the developers. So how do we cope with this? So how do we keep a decent number of scenario tests? Yeah. How do we keep them tested in a way that is good for operators to run them, but good for developers, because the gate doesn't take three hours to run? Uh, uh, you mean the uh, um, more scenario tests uh, take a long time to the, in the gate. Exactly. Uh, they take a lot of time to run. Uh, I, yes, uh, I think so. But uh, 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 there is uh, only 24 scenarios now, <laughs> right now. So uh, maybe the not so impact in the gate uh, right now. So. Uh, as a first, we need to more scenario and uh, increasing the uh, execution time. Uh, if 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 uh, if that's so, uh, we need uh, we need to uh, uh, first <laughs> we need to um, uh, create a more scenario, and then we think we think the we should think the uh, reducing the execution execution time. So I'm not, I, I don't think not so concerned about execution time right now. OK, so the gate is still the right place at this moment to put this kind of test. Yes, right now, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Derek Anderson from Virtue Stream. Yeah. Um, I've got another operations related question, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, people are really interested in validating they've got their install working correctly yeah. uh, using Tempest. Yeah. But in an ongoing basis, uh, imagine I've got a situation where I want to run a test uh, or run all the tests actually against a production environment. Um, I know the tests clean up after themselves, but do we consider them to be safe against an environment and that they're going to back out the things they do and leave everything in the state they found it? For example, if I get a customer complaining that they've had some kind of flaky behavior and you know we don't see anything that's easy to diagnose, can we run these tests and know yeah. that when they're done, I haven't done more damage? Or should we not expect that? Like, how safe is your feeling about that? I know it's a hard thing to say for sure. Yeah, uh, that's right. <laughs> uh, maybe we need, uh, we need to the, uh, completely clean up the uh, uh, all uh, Tempest created thing, things resources, uh, but uh, uh, there is there are some bugs uh, in the Tempest, so <laughs> the resources is, resources are remaining right now, but, but uh, we need to the fixing the bug. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Okay, thank you very much.